Hello, YouTubers. And everyone, Happy New Year. It is the first day of January 2023. And once again, I'm getting to enjoy a nice ride here in the ATL. Looking at about 60 degrees. And yeah, it's a little cloudy, but that sun is supposed to come out, and I'm hoping that she'll give me a chance to do a little walk around this bike aisle I'm on. The girl we're riding today, FS570 Hoosa Bird. And I know most people think I'm a, a husky diehard, and that is true. My heart lies with the SMRs. And is connected to them in a way that I don't think any bike is going to be able to change. That being said, I do have several supermodels, so they all kind of fill a little niche, a little spot. The Huskies seem to have the heart, or at least my heart. The Hoosaberg, I can't lie, this bike is just so easy to do everything on. And the Hoosaberg fans are just like the Husqvarna fans, I mean, they are super die-hard fans. They are so connected to their Hoosbergs. I would say many of them love them more than family members. Kind of love them like a pet. And I get it. It is very hard to not love this bike. By today's standards, just nothing like it. It's so unique. Which is why it's time I finally do the video that is long overdue. The top five reasons why I love my Hoosaberg FS570. The thing about this 570 is that everything I want to do with her is so easy. I mean, she's not only a good 20 pounds lighter than the SMR 530, she's packing a good 40 cc's more. And she has this low-end torque that the Huskies, you just can't get on the Huskies unless you change up your sprockets and kind of make it that way. With this bike, you don't have to. The torque is just there. It is a torque monster. And I think maybe the only one that might outdo her is the 650, the Husaberg FE or FS650. That was the predecessor to this bike. If you don't know about Husaberg, quick summary on them. Husaberg was an offshoot that was created by the Husqvarna engineers who were not keen on the various buyout when Husky sold. And they decided they didn't want to go ahead with all the new rules and the new company and said, we're going to stay in Sweden. You're not going to relocate us to Italy. Uh, so, Hoosberg was founded, I want to say, in the late 80s. The phrase, ready to race, is actually a Hoosberg phrase. And the only reason KTM is allowed to use it is because they eventually bought Hoosberg and took that phrase and, well, the rest is history. One of the reasons why I love this bike. It is a rare bike. Here in the States, I just don't know you're going to find many Husaberg 
FS models. I mean, you're looking at one, well actually you're not really looking at her yet, but I'm riding one. It is an authentic FS. It's not converted. And there's just not a lot of these bikes that were ever imported to the United States. But it's not just the rarity of these bikes that make them special. There's a unique look to them. And that's also on my list. For me, this bike is so sexy. It's right there with the SMR 530. When I put these two bikes side by side, if I had them on a scale, it would be an equal balancing act, even though the SMR weighs more. If we were weighing just how good each one looks, I'd say they're about even in my eyes. I, I can't pick one over the other. Now, I'm supposed to be meeting some guys. Are they over there? They are over there, okay. So what do we got here? We got a new bike, look at that. Who are you? I'm Fabio, nice to meet you. Man, I don't know what the deal is, but here's, here's what happens. Every time I'm around him, he's like, oh yeah, here's my new friend. And then his new friend says, yeah, he's been my best friend. I don't hear him saying that this is my best friend. Well, this is the red MT-09 that I was on when I passed you with Ben at the company when you were at the Shell right by your house. And I was waving to you like a dumbass, but that was before we knew each other. <laughs> that is hysterical. We'll just follow. This is his first time in a group. Okay. So he just got his permit, what, last week? Yeah. And he's on an MT-09? Yeah. Okay. So this is your buds. Now, this bud... And he's not your best friend. He must, I don't know how that works. I mean, an MT-09. And I'm still doing my top five reasons why I love my Hoosberg. So I think, what we'll need to do is, of course, bring in the fact that she likes to do wheelies, right? I mean, that's just what they do, right? I love about her. She just is very comfortable up there. So the wheelie part of the Hoosaberg is magical. And you don't have to gear her to be able to do the wheelies, which makes her so special. I can't really say that one of the top reasons I love her is due to her lightness. But what I'm gonna say, and one of the top five reasons why I love her, is how light she feels. There's a huge difference between actual weight and the way a bike feels when you're handling it. I mean, this bike feels like it's 220 pounds. It feels like a 250. I think the birds were really born and made to be dirt bikes and as such they are just so nimble and I can do things on this bike that I cannot do on the SMR 530. This one here has a balance and a lightness in this whole section here 
so that whether it's turning around doing a U-turn, whether it's going off-roading, whether it's obviously a wheelie, all of those things are dramatically easier on this bike. So we're still struggling for sunlight. At some point we're going to get some and I'll stop and do a walk around. A few moments later. Alright. So here we are. Time to do a little walk around on the Husaberg. The FS 570 in all glory. And what you're looking at here is not a common Berg, okay? Starting on the back side, she is dirty. And I guess I should have washed her for the video, but I did not. So I'm guilty. But we have had rain. It is winter time here in Georgia. And that's just what happens. But yeah. So these are fab wheels. This is a 5 inch back here. Made in Italy. Super rare. Not all that common. And you'll probably never see another set. At least not here in the States. I've got the pivot pegs I was telling you about. See how they work. I just love that. It's so nice when you're doing the wheelies. We got graphite. Frame guard. We got graphite. Mud guard. And look at that clutch cover. That's an anodized black. Very, very unusual. They're almost always blue. But when I saw how this guy cuts these things out, I just had to have it. My man Heiko, he does all these carbon pieces. So I had him do for the water pump, for the gas tank, mud flap. I think we got the carbon skid plate. Looks pretty dope. I'm giving you all the bling pieces to start. And then we'll talk motor. Obviously, the Husaberg pieces that are genuine power parts. These are not Alley Express pieces, okay? This is the real deal that you're looking at with those. That's the Koromoto brake line. The blue chrome graphics that you see, very, very unusual, or I should say uncommon. I, I love how the black base of the bike is so stealthy and just so smooth and then that blue chrome just kind of jumps out. I mentioned the seat before and my buddy Butch Husa works, he did the cover on it but obviously also added the Husaberg branding. I love that. Charge me extra for that too. Up top we got the drop down mirrors. I run them on all my bikes. I love them. They just give me the great visuals. That's the Behringer I was telling you about. This Behringer will not be here much longer. I'm going to put this on the 650. This is the 12 uh, millimeter piston and I really need this on the 650 because the 650 has got the the six pot so this one has is going to have the four pot once it comes in and I can run I believe it's a maybe a ten and a half or an eleven and I've got that master already I'm sorry yeah I've got that master already so I just haven't put it on here because I haven't changed out the caliber I don't have the caliber and if I'm not changing the caliper, it doesn't make any sense to just change the mast or so I'm waiting on that. On the front side, I was telling you about that Euro 
look LED that I got. I mean, that light is dope. So strong. Nothing like it. It's made in Australia. It's not street legal. It was made for the FEs for going off-road. But I went ahead and kind of, well, I was persistent, let's say that. And I got, got the seller to get me one. Ordinarily, he does not ship them to the United States. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm good, man. No, no, I appreciate that, man. No, no, I, I appreciate that. So the front end, like I was saying, I got the Euro style. And that's, I just love that look. It's got the Aprilia feel to it. And it's, uh, it just, it just, is how that bike should should be for me the the way the american fs's came were with the ktm headlight and i just didn't i just didn't go for it i'm not anti-ktm but that european look for me is just so much better obviously on this side i'm still running the husaberg sliders that's a power part. I've got the Behringer in blue, and it's even stamped Husaberg, so that I just love. But this Magura, not a fan of the Magura caliper. It just isn't cutting it for me. It's just, it's just weak, for lack of a better way to describe it. It's just a weak caliper compared to a Motormaster, a Brembo, a Behringer. I just want that bite. Whether it's for a stoppy or a, or a quick little slow down, tweak, whatever it is about the Behringer and the Brembo, for me and the Motormaster, all three of them I can use uniformly. But this Magura, and I know a lot of people like them, I just don't get the same feel. And if it seems like they, they lose power when they heat up. And this one in particular gets very, very hot when I bring it to the twisties. Up top here, as I said, I've got this. Look at this thing. I mean, this is a joke. This is my pinky. I, I, I can li literally pull the clutch with my pinky. There is two, pull, two pounds of pull on this clutch and it's all due to the Adler slipper that's inside there up top I've got the vapor I mentioned that or show that you could see it in the video I've got the Husaberg power part gas cap on the stator side you can really see the 70 degree in all its glory and I had the Heiko graphite cover there but it rattled off came off lost it and I haven't replaced it yet. The kickstand says an air time. I thought it was a Warp 9 that I had on there, but I don't, I don't, actually the Warp 9 was on my KTM 500. This one here is a different brand. This is the Tusk Shifter. But there's another Husaberg power part. The oil filler, I mean the oil filter cap. Now up here, I'm not gonna lie, that is an AliExpress piece right there. But it's the only one I could find for it. I don't think Husaberg ever created that piece. And it's got this really fine mesh filter on there. And, and these fuel systems on this bike is so sensitive to any kind of debris. You have to be cognizant of your filter. So obviously you got the inline or in-tank filter which some people remove, some people have complained about over the years, have had issues with. I still run it, although I don't need to, and I don't need to because like I said, I run VPR in her and I filter the VPR. So before it's coming out of the can, I filter it, and then I've got this fine filter here right before the fuel injector, so I'm pretty good in that regard. This one here is so easy to service why I like it you just pop the quick connect 
and then this comes apart and you can clean the little mesh in there it's just it's just way more functional and simplistic compared to the inline filter that comes with this OEM it's a nightmare it kind of slides into the fuel line and it breaks down it gets stuck it's just it's just not a good design very disappointed with that uh, their seat comes apart pretty easily and off and this is where you get to see the beauty of the design and the simplicity um, we've got our battery buried down in here kind of hard to see kind of sucks if you got to do a charge or a uh, jump start the ECU is tucked away underneath here I only keep the one bolt on there because sometimes I, I have to putz around with the different maps I do have a map switch and that gives me the ability to change to the dyno map or one of the other maps that are on there the vortex comes with the 10 maps the DNA filter in here had it come from I think a country I don't know if it's some country in Europe I don't know if it's uh, Slovakia or Czechoslovakia I don't even know honestly but for me this is the the one that gives you the real wide open airflow kind of like the K&N you know the K&N has got great airflow DNA is right there with it so I've got a DNA on this one and my 650 as well uh, we'll be running that same filter wait till you see the the 650's air box or lack thereof it's it's so hysterical the way they built these bikes I mean it's it's like they decided we're not going to use any air box now this one actually has a legitimate air box and meaning that it's significant it's big wait till you see the the 650 the air filter is maybe that big so on the back side once again we got the KTM I'm sorry the uh, fab wheels you can see here made in Italy uh, jumping out at us I've got the warp 9 slide sliders also axle blocks I've got what is my I think this is a motor master yeah that's a motor master sprocket and I'm running titanium bolts which I love they just when they lock down they lock down I did custom fit a talonator on this it's not made for the bike but if you look at the profile you understand why I love it so much I mean you can't see that plate you can't see the blinkers but it's fully integrated LED so it's got brake and tail and then directional obviously I've got the Akrapovich as I've mentioned before and I've got the Akrap header I forgot to mention with the resonating chamber on top which is very very unusual highly sought after part any of the Husaberg guys on the forums are always asking does anybody have one does anybody have one and everyone's always like yeah and it's gonna cost you so no one I don't think is selling and if they were I have no idea what they would sell for got to be a thousand dollars for just that part just that part of the header it's crazy Akrapovich pipes I've not seen any for sale and I'd be interested in getting me in a backup uh, motor wise you can, again you can see that it is a 70 degree the head is ported as I said it's running the big 45 throttle body we've got a friction reducing treatment that the engine block overwent and I think it's I think it legitimately works she still has not a lot of miles on this build I'm gonna say less than 2500 so she's not a new bike but the motor is essentially new I think the total miles is maybe 4,000 a little over 4,000 but again the motor has been rebuilt and during that time period you know not being used it's almost like she's brand new anybody who's interested in the Husaberg or in supermotos looking at this has to be saying this is a beautiful bike it is it is a sexy 
beautiful bike with very very limited lines if you look at the 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 tail fender which is one piece remember I told you the number plate and the rear fender if you even want to call it a rear fender is so minimalistic so effective it comes off with a few bolts I think there's one two three bolts and it's off I mean the the guards up front are kind of big but they go with the lines of the bike perfectly the fender perfect match to the rear fender so there you have it the Husaberg 2011 FS 570 in all glory I'm gonna say this has to be one of the better built modded out FS's in the country I know that's a bold statement might be some guys out there who have a better one with more mods and if so let me know I, I'd be curious I mean I love to hook up and talk about anything that you've done that I don't have and at the end of the day this bike I just love it it has a different place in my heart compared to the SM R530 and I hope I covered enough of those differences to where you can understand that each one of these bikes can do some magical things and that they are not identical even though they look like they're in the same class I do agree that they are one being a 530 one being a 570 but they're very very different with where they excel and where they're a little on the weak side so the Husaberg is just the perfect counterpart to my SMR 530 and probably why I love her as much as I do I appreciate it man so thanks for watching my top five reasons why I love my FS 570 Husaberg I hope to see you out there anywhere on one wheel